welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have another organization that I wanted to show you guys for diamond painting. And I'm always looking for different ways to store and to kit up my drills. And so this is from Paint Some Way. And I want to thank Paint Some Way for sending this to me for review. I love Elizabeth Ward containers and these are all small containers that they sent me and um, these are what I would call Elizabeth Ward dupes. They have a lot of them out there and um, different places do. This one I had the option of getting all of the same size or I could have gotten a combination and so I decided to go with the same size and I did the smallest ones. There are 39 in here. And I'm going to compare this to my Elizabeth Ward just to see what the differences are. And I will put the description, under the description I will put the link and also the amounts of this. And the next time I may get the variety so I can see what the different sizes are and compare them. But I'm always in need of smaller ones. So with this, it is kind of tight when you're opening it. And if you can hear it, I'm gonna have to do it sideways. You have to really struggle, or at least I do, especially with my left hand. I don't have that much strength in my left hand, but I'm having to use both hands to open it. So I don't think it's gonna go anywhere because it is really tight and it does shut really well. It does have a plastic top. And then again, there's 39 of these. I don't know how many are in the other ones. Um, it does tell you on their website. And this is what the small one looks like. So you can see here, it looks like an Elizabeth Ward. When you open this, it's not as tight. You don't hear the clicking. So I'm a little concerned about that because it doesn't feel like it's very tight. I don't think that the, it's gonna come off, but let's look at a couple of things. First of all, with my Elizabeth Ward trays, I have a funnel that I got from Bella Art Day Nicole. And let's look at that. So I'm just going to move this over. I have pulled one of these out and I want to look and see how this is going to do in this funnel. And it goes like this. I'm trying to put this in the center. This does not fit in here very well. Now, I guess I could take the top off. I don't know if these tops actually come off. Like Elizabeth Ward tops, you can take the tops off. But that's going to kind of defeat the purpose if I put this in here and take the top off. I guess that could, that's still not going to work because it does not lay flat. Now, if I have my Elizabeth Ward, let's get that out. Here's my Elizabeth Ward. This is for a painting that I'm going to be starting on. And this is full. This is my Elizabeth Ward. So you can see, of course, there's different sizes in here. But to compare these two, look at the size. That's a big difference. That is on the very end here. So that's definitely much smaller, but it might be more compact to carry. This may be really good for a small painting. Now to compare the two, this one is now easier for me to open. It does not have these clips like this one does. Like you can see it on the sides here, how this has the little clips. Now Elizabeth Ward does not have that, but it does close well. And they're having problems with these. And let's look at the small one. I'll just pick, I'm going to pick one that's full. This one is rather full. So you can see, try to get to focus. You can see this one is harder to open. Doesn't want to focus. There it goes. It's sort of focusing. But if you compare the two, The paint some way looks like it's a little bit thicker. It's, it's made a little bit differently. It's a little bit wider than the Elizabeth Ward, but, it, and it's a little bit, it's about the same size. Actually, Elizabeth Ward is just a little bit bigger. 
than the paint some way. But let's see. And when I put the Elizabeth Ward in there, when I put those in there, I'm not going to do that right now because I have the drills in. Let me get, I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't really need those. And I'm just going to put these drills in here. Make sure they're all out. And then when I put this in here, I want to show you that all of these fit in my Elizabeth Ward. And I'm going to see if all of these will fit in here. And they do not. This is at the top. I might can shake it and try and see this isn't closing very well. It's closing okay, but I'm a little concerned about that. I'm not like I'm gonna be shaking my drills and I'm not gonna be taking this anywhere, but if I wanted to, I'm not sure about the closure on these. I will have to report back to you guys when I do use these. I don't have anything to kit up right now I have plenty to work on, so I don't want to kit up just for the sake of using these. These do all fit, which I shook it up a little bit. So the same amount of drills, and I'm not going to go in and count all these drills, but the same amount of drills will fit in both. I'm going to go ahead, take this out. See, it barely fits in this one too. But they're all back in there and you can hear the click but you couldn't hear the click on this one so i'm not sure but i will report back to you once i do use these i'm just not going to use them right now i just have way too much as i said but i am really curious to see how these work and i do like the size i think this will be great as a grab and go because it's so much smaller and even the ones that have the larger trays in there, larger organizers, they also are the same size. So that's definitely a plus to the Elizabeth Ward. As far as the sturdiness, I am not sure. Um, as far as how much it holds, they both are about the same. This one is tighter when you put the lid on, almost too tight. That's not a bad thing. And it does click over here and like that. And then this one does have a top, so they both have tops. This one is one of my older ones, but you can still hear that's still on there really good. If you've used these from Paint Some Way or some that are very similar to this, let me know what you think about them. I am just very curious if they are really sturdy, if they stay closed, or if it could be a potential mess. I'm just, I'm really not sure. And I, I could go ahead and use these, but I am going to hold off for a little bit longer. So I don't know when I'll report back to you guys, but would love to hear your thoughts and your comments on this one. I wish that I had another size, um, possibly the medium or even the large, so that I can also compare um, that size with the Elizabeth Ward as well, but they only give you um, so much for a product review, and so I had enough just for this. So this was around $15, or I think it was like $15, $16, but um, I will definitely put that information for you out underneath the description. That's all I have for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button before you leave. Also, if you'd click on that like button if you liked this video, I would really appreciate it. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.